Espinal versus Sergey Spivak. Woo! I'm hyped for this one, bro. Yeah, this one's hyped. Cool. Um, um, who is it, me or you? Um, it's you, but I wanted to just say one thing. Yeah. We're, we're, Tom Espinal was on my list of um, of uh, what's it called? Uh, prospects to watch, and I think Spivak was on yours. No, he, he definitely could have been. He definitely could have been. Uh, I don't think I would have put him because it was only five, top five. Yeah. So I don't think he was on their list, but I do like his game. No, it was somebody else. It was somebody else. Never mind. It wasn't Spivak, but Spivak yeah. could have, like, he could have very well been one of them. I, it could have been Chris Dawkins. It was another bear type of nickname. Yeah. What it could have been Chris Dawkins? No, it was, it's that guy who chokes people out with his forearm. I oh, yeah. I think he all, yeah, you're right. I think his nickname is also the polar bear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what got me mixed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, okay, so let's get right into this one. Uh, this one's open and shut for me, in my opinion. Tom Aspinall was supposed to face a hard-hitting striker, 14-1 and Sergei Paplovich, with his only loss being to Alistair Overeem. Very, very tough matchup for Tom Aspinall. But instead, he's facing a grappler in Sergei Spivak, 4-1 and in his last five. Um... He, uh, Spivak, Spivak I'm talking about his key to win here is to wear on Aspinall and grind out like a decision but yeah. Aspinall is just better everywhere the fight goes I think a plus 4.4 striking differential at 66% accuracy 3.5 takedowns per fight 100% takedown defense none of his three US opponents ha- UFC opponents have even attempted a takedown on him um, or just didn't even get the chance they didn't even get the chance for the most part, not even attempted. But um, I spent all, all day in this one. I really like it. I don't know what the odds are in this, but. I'm going to check the odds real quick, actually, because I'm curious. Because if the if the odds are. Minus 280. Minus, yeah, I'm seeing minus 245, minus 250, 260. Yeah, I could, I could see, like. I thought it'd be closer. What? I thought it'd be a little closer. People are feeling how we're feeling. Tom Aspinall is really the next thing. Yeah. The way he was able to finish Andre Arlovsky, how he rocked him and not locked in that rear naked choke. He did it in like, he got, they were standing and he got the tap within nine seconds. He lands the punch and then quickly grabs it back and chokes the guy out. This guy has, like, we haven't seen much of it in the UFC, but he has ridiculous, um, he has ridiculous uh, submission game. Like he's a great Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. If you look at his Twitter handle, it's Tom Aspinall BJJ. Like we've really only seen the the striking. You know, he came into that UFC debut with that beautiful right hand that he knocked out Jake Collier with. Then he then he beat Alan Bado. No surprise there. And then uh, Andre Arlovski after that. But um, this is definitely his biggest test so far against Sergey Spivak. Spivak okay. is. He he really is like a polar bear, you know. Like he he definitely does need to wear on him if he wants to win this fight. But I think coming in off a short notice against somebody who's this athletic, and they weigh about they do weigh about the same. Um, I think that they have the same reach, um, seventy eight inch, which is solid. But uh, Tom Aspinall has a two inch height advantage. He's just. He's just a kind of freak athlete, in my opinion. I'm I'm big on Tom Aspinall, and I, I think he's got this in the bag as well. He's just he's 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 well rounded. We just haven't seen a lot a lot of his well rounded skills. This guy is this guy is going to be a guy who I think will be fighting for the for a title at some point in the next two two to three years. Yes, guaranteed. He's that good. He is the real deal. Yes. All right. So we're both agreeing we're both going to tom aspinall on this one